Hi, everyone, and welcome to the 21 Day Mindful Movement Challenge. Today's sequence is another one that came in by request. Thank you so much. I'm really loving these requests. Please keep them coming. We are going to work with some mindful regulating movement and some creativity boosting meditation. And this whole sequence is all about helping us have a good night's sleep. So for that purpose, we'll need some items that will help for your relaxation at the end, either a wall, you could do this as legs up the wall or legs on a chair. And you'll probably also need a blanket or pillow for your head. All right, once you've got all of that together, let's get started. <sighs> Why don't you begin with our three breaths, just taking a breath and sighing or making any sound on your exhale. <sighs> One last sigh. <sighs> and then letting your breath return to normal. We're going to begin with some side to side sway movement. So we'll begin our sequence with gentle movements that regulate and calm the nervous system. So we'll go. To start with, with our infinity loops or sideways figure eights, whichever your preference is. And as you begin this movement, you may want to check in with your foot placement. So as you start to sway side to side, you may realize that your body wants to move a little more and you need a wider base or a more stable base. So really feel free to change that up. So let's get one arm going into that infinity loop pattern. And the idea with this one is we uh, will allow the hand to lead the movement. And then we'll see if we can invite the body to follow the hand. So you may start out with just a little bit of body movement and a lot of hand movement. But then as you really give permission for the body to follow that movement pattern, you may notice it just brings you organically into a rhythmic pattern with the whole body. So let's try that on the other side. So again, you may start your loops with only the arm and then intending that the hand is going to lead, and we're going to invite the whole body to join that movement pattern. And just whatever way that looks for you, you may notice that the body wants to move a lot, or maybe the body wants to move very tiny amounts. Maybe if you're already kind of tired, you want to only move really small and subtle. And then we'll do it with both arms at the same time. So getting a double infinity loop happening. And again, starting with the hands and then letting the body join in. Here's where it gets a little bit tricky for the brain. We're gonna switch directions. So going into the other way altogether. So you're gonna draw that infinity loop or your Sideways figure eights in the other direction, and then we'll switch again. And switch again. And maybe give it a try to do these as little micro movements. We can still let the body move and sway a little bit. And as long as you're crossing the midline of the body with your movement, and as long as you're doing something rhythmic and repetitive, it's going to have that effect that we want. So you can really listen and honor your body here. So let's do it once more with each arm. We're going to switch this time. So start in your regular way and then switch and go the other direction. And just notice how that is. It might feel a little different. But again, we're going to leave with the hand, let the body follow. 
And one last time with the other arm going in your regular direction for maybe three or four loops and then switch directions, go your opposite way. And then letting the body follow. I really give yourself permission to just do movements that are good. You might do a side to side sway. You might wanna do the slinky instead. But really, it's just about creating that rhythmic, repetitive, gentle movement. And when that feels complete, you can come to laying on your back on your mat. So if you're choosing to do legs up the wall instead of legs on the chair, um, just scoot yourself over to the wall. Maybe don't be right up against it yet because we're going to do some movements with our legs first. We're just going to do a couple more uh, regulating movements. We're going to start with a knee sway. For this one, it can be really helpful to have the legs, the, the feet wide. And again, the idea is getting into that rhythmic, repetitive movement. It should feel really soothing and calming. And really take your time with this one. Maybe tracking the breath, your, your flow of your breath. Typically, you'll know it's working as the, you know, the breath will maybe change or slow down. And then when that feels complete with your legs, you can just put them in a comfortable position on your mat. And we're going to do the infinity loops on the ceiling. And so now that you're probably re relaxed and maybe a bit more regulated, now would be a good time to start bringing in that creative element. So as you draw your infinity loops on the ceiling, you could imagine maybe that you're finger painting or maybe that the texture of the air is getting thicker. Maybe a particular current of air actually picks the hand up and makes the movement easier for you. So switch a couple of times. So go maybe three or four loops and then switch to the other side. And from here, we'll go into a little bit of the supine rebounding. So you can use your feet as the lever and just get your body moving into the up and down, sort of toes to head direction of the rebound. And then this next bit, and feel free if this feels a little challenging for you, feel free to leave the next bit out. Um, I like to have my head kind of propped up for with the, the pillow bit, you can kind of choose what feels right and good for your, your head and neck. But then we're gonna do our finger painting, but we're gonna use our toes. Our, so we're gonna do toe painting. And we're gonna draw those infinity loops with the toes on the ceiling. Now, all of these movements are um, various movements that are designed to really prime the brain for integration and increased creativity, which really is a good thing for problem solving and for uh, when you need to think of new ideas for yourself. So let's switch our feet. And once you've got the movement down and, and if you, you've got a version of it that's comfortable, maybe you're toes come to the wall more, maybe they go to the ceiling more. Once you've got that in the right pattern for you, imagine that you're going to take a brand new color of paint. You're going to paint your infinity loops with a color you've never seen before. Go ahead and switch. Now, if you find the leg movement, they're a little bit more challenging. So if you find those uncomfortable or are just not good for you right now, feel free to just visualize that you're painting infinity loops with 
a color you've never seen before. Maybe they go slow, maybe the, the movements go quicker. And when you've done a few to each leg, come back into your rocking rebound. And the intention here is to soothe. So if you find it's not soothing to rebound, then feel free to just do a different thing, something that does have an effect of calming. And allowing you to really center into the moment. Um, then from here, you can uh, scoot yourself closer to the wall. Um, if you're using the chair for your relaxation, you can slide your um, calves onto the chair and just let the chair be supportive. Let your pillow or blanket come up nice and comfy under the head. And then just set yourself up in either legs at the wall or legs on chair so that you can be nice and comfy. And really give yourself a moment to wiggle and shuffle and really enter into a comfortable position where you can start to settle. Can you allow the floor to do the holding for you? Can you allow your pillow to do the holding for your neck or your head? Can you allow your wall or your chair to really support your leg? Maybe just 2% more letting go. If it feels right and good for you to take a moment here to track your body and your mind to see if there's any remaining holding. Is there anything the body or the mind is holding in this moment that it doesn't need to be holding? You know, if it's necessary holding, then thank it for doing such a great job. And if you get the sense that it is something that could be let go of, a really nice way to invite that is to simply ask the holding, would you like a break from that? What do you want a break from that? Because it might want to be holding, so it's good to ask. Would you like to take just a little break? If you get a yes as an answer intuitively, you could see who, who do you want to hand that over to? Maybe the universe or the ocean or the earth or whatever greater force than you brings you a sense of comfort in that way that it could do the holding for you just for now, just for this moment. And then checking in again the body and the mind. Is there anything left that could be let go of? Just 2% more maybe. Really feeling the earth beneath you 
Maybe the earth can do some of that holding. And I'm going to invite you now to continue in this way all the way till when you fall asleep to just track your body and your mind, giving permission to rest just a little bit more each time you check in. And I hope you found this relaxing and helpful and I will see you again tomorrow. And with that, namaste.